Smile and learn. Hello, hello. How are you today? Are you hungry? I am a little, but I have a snack here. Yummy. I'm sure you remember that food gives us the energy we need to play, study, think, and be healthy. You probably also remember that without food, no living thing can survive. Living things get energy from the food we eat. The way energy passes from one living thing to another is called a food chain. Remember? One way to classify food chains is by the habitats where the living beings in the chain get their food. Let's think about our planet and all the habitats on Earth. How many habitats can you think of? That's it! There are two general types of natural habitats, terrestrial and aquatic. The living things in these habitats form many food chains. So we can classify food chains in two ways, terrestrial food chains and aquatic food chains. Terrestrial food chains. Terrestrial food chains exist both on land and below the surface of the earth. For example, we find terrestrial food chains in the desert, forest, and savanna. Can you think of any other terrestrial habitats? Come with me, we're going to look at an example. Plants get the energy they need from the sun, water, carbon dioxide, and nutrients from the soil. A primary consumer, like a caterpillar, eats the plant's leaves. Yum! How tasty! Then the caterpillar goes underground. But suddenly, a centipede eats it. Later, a mole comes along and eats the centipede. Delicious! A while later, a hungry snake eats the mole. And just a few hours after that, a hawk swoops down and eats the snake. When the hawk dies, decomposers break down its body and turn it into nutrients that plants use to make their own food. And so this terrestrial food chain begins all over again. Amazing, right? All these living things obtain their food in terrestrial habitats. So we can say that this is a terrestrial food chain. Aquatic food chains. Aquatic food chains occur both in and near water. They happen in rivers, lakes, seas, and oceans, but also along the coast. The living things that make up aquatic food chains get their food from aquatic habitats. They can live in water, like fish, but they can also live on land and eat aquatic living things like bears. That is why we say that aquatic food chains happen both near and in water. Come with me under the sea to see an example. In the ocean, we can find many producers, such as these algae. As we know, algae are plants who get energy through photosynthesis. But, oh, oh! Sea snails like them too! Mmm! Now a hungry eel comes swimming along, sees the snail, and eats it. But then a salmon enters the picture and eats the eel. This is where the story gets interesting. 
Adult salmon live in salt water, but they lay their eggs in fresh water. So our salmon leaves the ocean and swims upstream to lay her eggs in a river. Suddenly, boom, a hungry bear wants his dinner. So he walks down to the river looking for fish. Today is his lucky day and he finds a delicious salmon to eat. Yum! As you can see, even though the bear lives on land, this is an aquatic food chain because all the living things in it get their food from aquatic habitats. Remember, we can classify food chains by the habitats where the living beings in the chain get their food. If all of the living beings get their food from aquatic habitats, even if one of them lives on land, we classify the chain as aquatic. Let's see if you can tell me, are these terrestrial or aquatic food chains? Terrestrial or aquatic? Terrestrial, because the living beings in this food chain get their food from terrestrial habitats. Let's try another one. Aquatic, because the living beings in this food chain get their food from aquatic habitats. Very good. Now for the last one. Terrestrial or aquatic? Aquatic, because although the bear lives in a terrestrial habitat, it and the rest of the living beings in this food chain get their food from aquatic habitats. Great, you did an awesome job. Wow, food chains are so interesting. In this video, we have seen one way to classify them, but we still have more to learn. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.